Alberta's new premier, Danielle Smith, is starting her term on the back foot, apologizing for statements she made on day one of the job. She's been under fire since she said that people who are not vaccinated against COVID-19 are the most discriminated group she has ever seen. The community that faced the most restrictions on their freedoms in the last year were those who made a choice not to be vaccinated. I don't think I've ever experienced a situation in my lifetime where a person was fired from their job or not allowed to watch their kids play hockey or not allowed to go visit a loved one in long-term care or hospital or not allowed to go get on a plane to either go across the country to see family or even travel across the border. So they have been the most discriminated against group that I've ever witnessed in my lifetime. That's a pretty extreme level of discrimination that we have seen. Now the premier is clarifying her words and promising to do better. Let's go to Hillary Johnstone, who's in Ottawa. What more are we hearing from Danielle Smith? A statement came out from her office yesterday. Hillary? Heather Danielle Smith and her team are, are clarifying her remarks and also saying that she never meant to downplay the discrimination that other groups have faced. Uh, she also said in her office said that they will be setting up meetings with various minority groups so that she can better understand uh, and speak with some of these groups about what they have experienced. So that has come from her statement as well. Would like to share a little bit more of it uh, with our viewers. It says, quote, I want to be clear mm -hmm. that I did not intend to trivialize in any way the discrimination nation faced by minority communities and other persecuted groups both here in Canada and around the world or to create any false equivalencies to the terrible historical discrimination and persecution suffered by so many minority groups over the last decades and centuries. She goes on to say, I am committed to listening, learning and addressing the issues affecting minority communities. And of course, during the United Conservative Party leadership race, she had said that if she was elected, that she would would seek to amend the Alberta Human Rights Act to add vaccination status uh, as grounds subject for protection, the same way that race or sexual orientation or religion are currently protected. She also said that she knows that society at large was trying to get to that high vaccination status, uh, but in her view, things have now changed. She believes that COVID-19 should be treated as endemic and as such that people who chose not to get vaccinated should now be protected from discrimination. So seeking to clarify what she said just in those first few hours as premier on Tuesday. And what has been the reaction from people to her comments? So we've heard from various Indigenous scholars, for example, who have pointed out that, you know, the residential school system in Alberta, the last school was only closed in the 1990s, trying to point out that there have definitely been other groups in Alberta's more recent history that face discrimination, just as one example. We've also heard from Edmonton's mayor on all of this, and here's a little bit of what he said. Indigenous communities, racialized and minority communities, uh, uh, LGBTQ communities, uh, women, uh, people living with disabilities uh, have and continue uh, to face uh, systemic discrimination and racism in our city. I look forward to working with uh, uh, Premier uh, Smith uh, about uh, how we are working with communities to uh, remove barriers. And we've heard from other advocates as well who talk about how they felt when they first heard some of those remarks on Tuesday, what it could mean for others, in particular hearing from uh, advocates with the Center for Newcomers. Here's a little bit of what we heard. It was really physical. It was very visceral for me. You know, I kind of felt it in my stomach and, you know, my heart kind of sank and I thought, here we go again. We're going to have to defend our right to be here and we're going to have to defend all of the different, you know, um, discrimination and, and what's happening to marginalized communities in Alberta. It's going to be a big fight all over again. And Heather, some groups are now requesting to meet with Danielle Smith, including the Edmonton Federation, uh, sorry, the Jewish Federation, pardon me, of Edmonton, who are now requesting a meeting with Danielle Smith to express some of their concerns. Thank you very much, Hillary Johnstone in Ottawa.